welcome Mr. Alan King. Well, on the south side of Chicago, in Savannah's part of town. And if we go down there, you better just be aware of a man named Leroy Brown. Uh, people say to me, Alan, how long have you worked on ships? I've worked on ships for a long time, ladies and gentlemen. My first captain was Noah. <laughs> Thank you for the rim shot, Donnie. Anyway, uh, you know, I started on ships actually in 1975. And if I can just very, very briefly tell you, the most exciting and fastest week of my life was the second week in April, 1975. I was working at a club in Scotland, and a young lady came in that I knew as, as an entertainer. I hadn't seen her for quite a long time. And she came in with this amazing suntan. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever been to Scotland, you know that you don't get a suntan in April. It just doesn't happen. I said, this is the most amazing suntan. When I took a break, she came over and she said, Alan, I came in to see you. I've just come back from my first cruise ship contract in the Caribbean. And I'm flying out again on Friday. This was a Sunday night. I'm flying out again on Friday. And the reason I came down to the club was I knew you were going to be here. And I want, I've, got, I've got a phone number of a gentleman in London. And I told him you'd be great on cruise ships. So I got home very, very late on the Sunday night, made a phone call on Monday. He offered me a job. Now bear in mind, I didn't have a passport, never been on an airplane in my life. Tuesday, I drove through to Glasgow, only place in Scotland where you can get a passport. Wednesday, I drove to the American consulate in Edinburgh. I got my American visa. Thursday, I got the overnight train from Dundee down to London, arrived Friday morning out to Heathrow, and on Friday afternoon, I got on an airplane for the first time in my life. Friday night, I arrived in New York City, and Saturday night, I was standing on a stage like this, entertaining guests from New York, sailing to Bermuda. Fastest week of my life. I gotta tell you, it was a fast week. Need what you need. You can say what you want. Nothing much you can do. But if you want to Maybe blue skies above. Well, I don't know where you've been, and I don't know what you've done, but I'm glad to see you won the first prize. <laughs> but one of my favorite songs, and I hope you like it as much as I do, is a great song, Fun Words. This is called Working at the Car Wash Blues. And saying I'm stuck here, rounding these fenders with a rag. Okay, it's admission day at the pearly gates for men. Thousands of men standing outside the pearly gates, and St. Peter is standing there with the two big signs. One sign says, all men who were dominated by their wives stand here. Another sign said, all men who dominated their wives stand here. Behind the sign where it said, all men who were dominated by their wives, there was a line to infinity as far as the human eye could see and beyond. Behind the sign where it said, all men who dominated their wives, there was one man. And St. Peter said, why are you standing there? He said, my wife told me to stand here. <laughs> Blue Bayou, as it was originally written, came to visit you one day. Sky was dark, the clouds were gray. A gust of wind caught my toupee, and it blew by you. I'm going back one day for that toupee that blew by you. It was a nice toupee with some shades of gray that blew by you. of mine, so I'm going back to 
find that lovely two bay I lost one day the blue There's a hotel, it's a Hyatt Regency on 42nd Street, it's huge. He gets into the lobby of the hotel, he goes up to the bar, he said, he said I'm, I'm just bowled over by the size of everything here. Could I have one of those famous Budweiser beers that I've read so much about? The bartender comes back a few moments later with a, a Budweiser beer, it's in a glass about 18 inches tall. It's got about half a gallon of beer in it. And he says, my goodness, everything is so big here in New York. He drinks down the beer and he says, you know, I think I'd like a sandwich. I'm a little bit hungry. Could I have a ham and cheese sandwich? The waiter brings a sandwich. It's about a foot long, three inches thick. He said, oh my goodness. I'll need another Budweiser to wash down that sandwich. Has another half gallon of Budweiser. Then he says to the bartender, say, excuse me, where's the men's room? And he was he's probably a little bit drunk. He said, he's, the bartender said, it's at the end of that corridor, last door on the right. So Uncle Angus walks up there. He's a little bit drunk, a little bit confused. Takes the last door on the left opens the door, trips over a railing, goes head first into the swimming pool. He's floundering around in the swimming pool. The bartender has observed this. He runs up behind him and he says, are you okay? And he says, don't flush it. 